Hi guys, happy Sunday. Welcome to a new video. I just uploaded my first ever vlog and first ever video this morning. Uh, so it's Sunday um, and yeah, I put up at 8am and I'm going to try and make that a habit. I'm not really sure what I'm going to film this week just because I don't have an awful lot going on to be honest. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'll video some bits and if it doesn't work out then I'll have to come up with a plan B. <laughs> but um, I'm bare faced today, I've just slicked my hair back and it's disgusting outside, it's raining. Um, I think I'm going to go up to Westfield, um, the shopping centre, just because like, everything's inside and fancy little like mosey about really and um, just go and have a look. Like have a little wander around Zara, H&M home, that kind of thing, and John Lewis as well, because it's always nice just wandering around there, maybe get a coffee too, I'm just going to go on my own, um, and I'm going to have to get the bus there, um, because it means less exposure to the rain, because <laughs> um, otherwise it's a really horrible like journey. So yeah, I'm going to take you along with me, um, I'll try and film as much as possible, and I will see you there. So I look like an actual egghead, but never mind. Um, so this is my outfit. I feel like it's kind of weather appropriate, although my trench coat, which is from H&M, I think it's sold out now with these like really cool shoulder details. Um, it's not waterproof, then you can't see it. This is like an oversized cardigan from Pretty Lavish. Then I'm literally just wearing um, Lululemon Align, I think it's the Align leggings, and a Zara bodysuit. Um, I wanted to wear my new um, trainers from Merge, but it is horrible outside and I don't want to like hurt them. <laughs> so I've just got some Lacoste trainers on. And then, as you can see, I've got my Palen Paris bag and just my normal jewellery. Um, yeah, if you need any outfit links, um, either head to my Instagram because a lot of them are over there, or um, I can put some links in the description. And yeah, I need to grab my umbrella and then head off. I decided to go for the time roast chicken this evening. Chopped up the veggies. Hi. Chips has just gone yeah. in the oven. And I need to get the chicken out. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. Literally, our fridge is just full of this. <laughs> So yeah, this looks nice. We've had it before actually, and it's it's actually quite a nice combination with the like roast veggies and the thyme. So it's kind of like typical Sunday kind of meal, but it's also got sweet, sweet chili sauce in it. It's like this chili jam, um, which is actually a really nice combination. I love that sweet chili. So looking forward to that. I think it's going to be ready in about half an hour. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I think I've already spoken to you this morning, but I might not keep the um, clip in about my morning routine. I, uh, what's the time? It's 20 past eight. I'm ready. I look very pale in this viewfinder, but I'm not. <laughs> I've bronzed and I'm tanned, but regardless. Um, I've just sat, set up my like makeshift desk. I keep saying makeshift, but to be honest, I've been sat here since like the start of lockdown, so it's becoming a permanent thing. Before work starts at nine, I'm gonna go through my own emails, which take a lot of time, um, actually, like more than you'd think. I'm gonna go through my emails, my Instagram messages, um, comments, maybe like plan some posts for the week, um, do some stories. I'm also selling some shoes ooh, that I've got down here as well. I need to put them on my stories as well. I kind of don't bother with Depop. I know, maybe that's bad, I don't know. I don't tend to bother with Depop because um, you get like some really strange questions and stuff on there and I just can't be asked. And I just find it so much easier to put it right in front of my audience on my Instagram stories, so um, yeah, I do quite regular clear outs because I'm just a bit like that, like I like things as minimal as possible and right now it's not minimal. <laughs> my coffee, I'm just going to do a little bit of work before work starts, it's busy life and I'm filming as well. Um, this week has got a little bit more interesting now um, and I will obviously take you with me. So tomorrow, I am after work, I am going to get my nails done at London Grace with Liv, of course, from It's Olivia Levitt. We're going to go together and we've been invited down there. And then afterwards, we're going to Five Guys for dinner. I know it's so unhealthy, but oh my god, I love it. If you've never been to Five Guys, what 
Kitty doing. It's amazing. Um, and we're going to try and shoot like at least just one look um, before the nails because um, tomorrow is like the only day when the weather looks reasonable. Um, and I'm like running out of pictures basically. I need to get some mirror pictures today actually, like at lunchtime. Honestly, I don't have time to relax. <laughs> And then on Thursday, um, I am actually getting my copper coil removed in the morning. Thank goodness. I've had all sorts of trouble with it over the last three years and enough is enough. So I'm getting that removed. Um, I presume I'm going to have pain after it. I know it's going to be painful having it removed, but I don't know whether I'm going to experience cramping or anything like that. So I'll just try and take it easy. I'll be obviously working that day as well. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, and also tomorrow morning I have got a Zoom Pilates class with Dr. Frankie Spence, who is amazing if you don't really follow her on Instagram, and with Femfresh, the um, like wash. So um, I'm excited for that. I've never done anything like that before. Um, and yeah, that'll be obviously before work. So yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of work now. Ooh. I'm tired because I stayed up a bit later than usual watching Emily in Paris. I watched the first episode and I used to live in France. I've probably mentioned it a million times. I lived there for like on and off six years um, in the Alps. I miss it so much <laughs> um, to be honest. Um, but yeah it's really just nice hearing the French and um, like seeing how they represent French people and some French boys and stuff like that. So that's really interesting to watch. And it's also like just a really nice and easy like cute kind of thing to put on but anyway i'm gonna stop chatting i'm gonna do my emails i'm gonna drink my coffee and i'll catch up with you in a bit five o'clock finished work and I have literally just rushed to get ready I've done quite heavy I wake up today to be fair I am going to meet Liv um again I feel like she's gonna feature in every every vlog basically um we I'm gonna take a picture or two if the weather holds up please don't rain yet <laughs> um just to like our outfits just to for some extra pictures and then she's been invited to five guys <laughs> for um a meal and there's a plus one so she's taking me which is really cute and i cannot wait because their burgers are my favorite and then we are going to get our nails done afterwards and the salons in london are open till quite late i think this, this one's open till nine or something but we're going at half seven so yeah it should be fun i need to hurry now and get the bus and then the tube down to bank we're gonna take some pictures there then head over to Five Guys and Tower Bridge and then come back to Bank for our nails. So I will see you soon. Um, my outfit just quickly is, I don't know whether to wear this one or just wear my trench because I might get really warm. This is um, a really old coat from New Look. Then I've got a pretty lavish cardigan, misguided um, satin top. I've got Lovie's jeans which are rolled up and then my Marge trainers, excuse my washing, and then this Zara bag as well which all of you guys love and yeah I've got another bag here of just like random stuff so yeah so I better go. Take you 
You got the normal cheeseburger or double cheeseburger? I think I've got normal. I, I think I have a two, but mine is so like <laughs> thick. Did you just put it all in? This is gonna be so messy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. that's so big. I normally get the little one. There's salt on them. What was that? There's salt over there. Oh my god, this is good. Oh yeah. It's all gonna go on my face. Um, it's okay, it's fine. I love these chips, they cook them in peanut oil, and there's just something about them. Mm -hmm. so good. so quick and easy I couldn't believe it I well I had a lot of pain when I had mine put in it's not a very pleasant experience um so I was a little bit worried about it being sore and it being like a similar experience to when I had it put in but actually it wasn't at all um I couldn't really feel anything apart from like a little bit of tugging so they basically like you go in um get your weight and height and everything checked and you put your um, like you get undressed and then you put your legs up like on the this like bed thing and then the nurse she put um, a spectrum inside me and then it kind of opens up a bit so she can see where the strings are that come down from the coil um, and then she must have gone in just with some like pincer kind of things and she said I'm going to count to three and on three cough so when I coughed she literally pulled it out and I was like oh that's it and she showed me I was like that was so easy so yeah that was literally it yeah when I got luckily I, I got home quite quickly because it was just a short bus ride away and um, when I got home I started feeling quite faint um I think my body was just in a bit of shock and like um yeah it was just <laughs> <laughs> yeah my body was in I guess like a little bit of shock from it all um, so I wasn't feeling amazing so I made myself some lunch like a brunch um, and that helped quite a bit and I'm working now um, but yeah I've now got like little cramps in my belly um, it's definitely in like the kind of uterus area which I think is probably gonna be normal because you're like suddenly this device that's been in me for three years that my body's adjusted to is now gone the process is painless it's just really nice to know that it's no longer in me and that um, I don't, I'm not gonna have anything invasive now. Um, so I'm back on, um, she said it, I used to be on microgynon. She said it was similar to that, let me get it out. So it's the combined pill. Um, me, I can't pronounce that, Mezani. Um, so yeah, we'll see how I get on with that. I've got three months worth right now. Oh. And then after three months, I just need to phone them up again. Um, and if all is good, then I'll get a six month supply. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to catch you later. I'm gonna just continue with work and just, just try and distract myself from my belly, but I'll go get a hot water bottle now. And yeah, see you guys soon. 
today I received the most amazing package in the post from Maison Margella. I don't know how you pronounce it exactly. Basically, I went to John Nurse the other day and was trying on some fragrances and I put on my Instagram story one of the fragrances um, called By the Fireplace that I just tried for the first time. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. Like, I need this in my life and I, I like need a candle form of this as well. And the next day, <clears throat> I literally got an email from them being like, oh, we see you love the fragrances. Like, thank you for the story. Like, we'd love to send you some. I was like, what? <laughs> this is crazy. So, wow. Thank you so much, Maison Margella. As you can see here, there's a really gorgeous note from the team. How beautiful is that handwriting? So gorgeous. So, obviously, I've already opened up the package. And inside, I have two, which are very contrasting, but, um... That's exactly what I wanted, so I got by the fireplace, which is a gorgeous, like, unisex, woody, smoky, wintry scent. Um, and it's sort of inspired by Chamonix in 1971. And I used to live near Chamonix, which is crazy. So, yeah, this other one that I've gone for is called Beach Walk. Um, it was a bit of a toss-up between a few. Um, another one I was um, looking at was Bubble Bath, which I think is a newer scent. Um, but this one's obviously like going to be very summery. Um, I read online that it's like, yeah, as it said, like sun kiss, salty skin, you know, like the smell of the sun and your skin and sun cream and coconutty, that kind of thing. So I'm looking forward to trying them. I haven't opened the beautiful boxes yet. How stunning are they? I know these bottles are going to be just divine. So yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with them. How beautiful are these bottles? I just adore the simplicity of them. They don't come with caps, it's literally just like this, but how beautiful. This is literally like, um, is it going to have figures? There we go. It's like cotton around there, and then even this is like, it feels like it's a cotton um, label, which is gorgeous. I mean, how stunning. What was it like? The bath? Like this? Yeah. Because you're out there, I'm going to look like that. That's really nice. So pretty. Okay. I just want all the people walking past. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna so that there's a tiny bit a bit um more space above my nice oh, Yeah yeah for sure for the crop. Yeah. You were leaning yeah on the corner there. the 11th of October and it's my birthday today and um, it's not quite the birthday I was expecting obviously Covid had other ideas but we're making the most of it I've dressed up smart and we are going to Chaconi's for lunch it's me and my boyfriend so I've got this top on excuse the bra strap from um, Kiwi Killer Fashion I've got this gorgeous Zara blazer it's blue and expensive this one but it's from the summer my Palen Paris bag <coughs> excuse me my voice um, my like coated leggings slash jeans from Misguided. Sorry about the washing in the background. And then these sock boots from Misguided. And I've got my cozy teddy coat from um, H&M. And then on my face, 
I've gone for like a bronzy look today and I've got Charlotte Tilbury <coughs> lip gloss in Seduction which Liv gave me for my birthday which is very sweet and I've like poofed out my hair a bit so I think my bolt is here um we're feeling fancy and we're gonna go get a bolt to lunch and yeah see you in a bit birthday today and I am a little bit dressed up and I've come to Mayfair with my boyfriend and we are on our way oh my god some like dirt on the lens there we go it's better we are just walking to Chaconis right now for some lunch um, I've only been there once before but I love it um, it's such a nice spot for people watching and some nice Italian food and some wine so yeah looking forward to that we've just taken some quick pictures on Bond Street and yeah I'll catch you guys in a bit <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> They look so nice. Man. We can go into the pasta. Oh, good. Mm. Mm. It's so good. That's what she does pasta with parmesan and pepper. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you so Thank you so much. much. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I am back from lunch, back from central London. Um, I had a lovely time at Chaconis, as you probably saw. I had a really cute little birthday surprise there as well, which was so nice. And we were so full and tired when we got home that we literally just went to bed for like an hour and a half. So living my best life at 27, going out for lunch and then going to sleep <laughs> and now um yeah i'm in my comfies as you can see just my lululemon leggings my um emu australia slippers and this sweater is from reclaimed vintage at asos it's um a couple months old now and i'm literally just going to put um a load of things on depop let me show you literally all of this from my even the ted baker coat um, yeah, I'm going to pop that on now. I uh, just had a bit of a clear out. You'll find the link to that. Um, I'll pop it in the description box if there's anything left. And have a look at my Instagram as well. I'll probably link it there too in my bio. And yes, I'm going to... Because last week I uploaded my vlog on uh, Sunday, didn't I? But I'm going to do Monday this time, so tomorrow. Because I'm not working and hopefully I'll have time to edit and upload and all those good things. We'll see. Hey guys, I am just about to go to bed. So I my boyfriend's noise. He's playing Xbox with his friends. Um, yeah, I'm just about to go to bed. It is 10 o'clock. I've taken little Layla home. We looked after Layla, the little puppy, again this evening. And we enjoyed pizza on the sofa. And she was like begging for it. It was so cute. <laughs> I am going to just finish off putting some of my bits on Depop. Honestly, it takes forever. <laughs> It's so much easier putting them on my stories, but because I've got, like, I'd say, like, that much of it, um, I don't want to bombard my stories with stuff like that, so deep up it is. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish doing that, take off my makeup, whatever remains of it, it's kind of, like, worn off, and oh, head to bed. I'm not working tomorrow. So I'm going to have a bit of a life day, I am going to clean the house, I'm going to just do like some organising, hopefully send off some clothes that I'm selling, hopefully people are going to buy them, <laughs> um, do my emails, that kind of thing. So I'm probably going to sign off the vlog here, I hope this week's was remotely interesting. And of course let me know if you have any questions below, any outfit links that you like, they're probably over on my Instagram but honestly ask away 
and yeah i will see you in another video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you again soon bye